Hello guys, today is another edition of our life. And as usual, I'm doing something very nice and interesting and I'm in Lesotho. And I want you guys to sit down and listen to this interesting um, episode, story and um, history of the beautiful country. <laughs> What's your name and what do you do? Okay. Thank you very much. I would like to thank you for this opportunity. Oh, it's Robert. Yes. Uh, my name is Mark Ananelo Chifa. Mm. I am uh, the Deputy Commissioner General of the section of uh, the Kingdom of the Soto Pavilion wow. here at Expo Doha wow. 2023. Uh, I am from the Soto where I work for the Investment Promotion Agency of the Government of Lesotho, the Lesotho Nation of Development Corporation. Mm, excellent. That's nice. Wow, you've been in Qatar right now, and I'm sure you've been having the best moment to enjoy. Very true. So I want you to just tell people out there in Eastern Europe and Africa, wherever they're watching us, about the country in Lesotho. Okay. Yeah. Um. I, I am glad again for this opportunity because yeah. it also gives us a platform to tell the world or people who are not here in Doha about okay. Lesotho. A lot of people don't know about us. So um, Lesotho is a country found in Southern Africa, inside South Africa. It's totally enslaved by the territory of uh, South Africa. One of the three countries in the world that are t totally enslaved by a territory of another country. We know that in Italy, we have San Marino and Vatican. And then in Africa, there is Lesotho. Mm. We are one very special country. Excellent. And it is also a kingdom, one of the three remaining kingdoms found in Africa. Hmm. In Africa, one of the, one of the three remaining uh, kingdoms in Africa. So um, there's the kingdom of Lesotho, the mm. kingdom of Eswatini, and the kingdom of Morocco. So those are the only three kingdoms that you will find uh, in the world in Africa. Africa, okay. yes, perfect. Wow. So um, you guys are trying to push it out now to get people to know about the country in Lesotho. And what do you guys really stand for? Okay. So uh, allow me to begin uh, by telling who we are, mm -hmm. where we're from, uh, the kingdom of Lesotho, as we are officially known. Um, it's a country that, uh, as I mentioned, it's found in Africa, southern region of Africa, inside South Africa. And uh, we are also known as the Mountain Kingdom of Lesotho. Uh, the total land size of our country is about 32,000 square kilometers, where two thirds of it is mountainous and only one third of it is arable land. Hence the name, the Mountain Kingdom of Lesotho, because we are a mountainous country. And the name Lesotho comes from the phrase, the land of Sesotho speaking nation. Mm -hmm. So uh, as, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we speak uh, Sesotho as a national language, but we also speak uh, English as a second official language. But the mostly spoken language is uh, Sesotho. Wow. Yes. So you guys are into more of tourism and what exactly is the niche you guys are pushing out to the world, the market? Oh. Um, yes, our tourism sector is one of uh, the growing uh, sectors in the in the country, and one of the the sectors that our national strategic development plan prioritizes. Um, as the four, we have uh, the agricultural sector, of which for the longest time uh, has been for subsist subsistence, but uh, it, it it took a, a decision by our government to ensure that we we, we are more intentional about this. We, we, we commercialize our agriculture given the potential that we get. We also have uh, the manufacturing sector as one of the priority sectors, which we have been doing very well in uh, as a country. We know that uh, Lesotho is one of the top four uh, performing countries in the export of uh, textiles and garments to mm -hmm. Yes. So under the, uh, yeah, under the Africa's Growth and Opportunity Act, Lesotho is one of the, of the um, top four performing ca uh, countries exporting uh, to the U.S. market. I must mention that we are a population of 2.3 million, which is a very small market. So we, we have uh, agreements with other 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 uh, regional blocks, with other countries that uh, allow us access 
to their markets. I mean, the U.S. market is huge. Food. We want to trade with the U.S. Sure. And now we are also uh, parties uh, to the Africa's Growth and Opportunity. I mean, uh, the AFCFT, which gives us access to the 1.3 billion market of uh, Africa. Wow. We also have access to the uh, EU as well as the UK. Mm-hmm. So, um, as a small as as a small economy, for us to uh, contribute to our GDP we need to trade with the rest of the world. Sure. Uh, I was where I was mentioning the, 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 the priority sectors. We also have tourism and uh, creative uh, industry as one of the priority sectors. Allow me to mention to you that Lesotho is a very special country. Lesotho is a very beautiful country. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it's a package that is uh, awaiting to be, you know, unfolded. Mm. Lesotho is the home for what is called the highest, lowest point in the world. Every country has a starting point of elevation. Lesotho's uh, entire land surface starts at uh, above 1,400 meters above sea level. Mm. Of all the lowest points that exist in the world, Lesotho's lowest point is the highest. Wow. That makes us the highest country in the world in terms of altitude. Mm. Hence the ding, okay. hence the ding ding, the kingdom in the sky. Who wouldn't want to discover elevation? Who would to, who wouldn't want to be elevated? Oh yeah, we came want to visit. <laughs> you have to, you have to. So, with that, uh, Lesotho is one African country that experiences snow uh, during our winter season, which spans between sometime in April and uh, August. Mm-hmm. So, if you want to experience snow in Africa, visit Lesotho. Come and experience. Not to any falls in Zimbabwe. I never knew such a fall there. Oh, pardon? I thought to any fall in Zimbabwe. In the- and then it's also falls in your country too. I didn't know it falls in your country too. It falls. Really? We have plenty of snow. Every winter season, we are sure to experience uh, snow. Ex- now, I get people from other African countries and in Europe, mostly in Eastern Europe, they want to come to Africa to invest. So what are the opportunities out there for them to check out? Thank you very much for this yeah. question. We have uh, opportunities in both priority sectors that I had mentioned, the agricultural, uh, agricultural sector. Because of the the high elevation, it sort of has proven to be one of the best countries in the world mm-hmm. to uh, invest in agriculture. We have the best climate. We have plenty for water, mm-hmm. and with that, especially in the pro- in the production of uh, deciduous fruits, our stone fruits, we have uh, any harvest than that of our neighbors. Mm-hmm. So it gives us any access to the market. Who would want to reach the market first? And mm-hmm. uh, so. There are opportunities in the agricultural sector. We have opportunities in the manufacturing sector, um, especially you know, uh, manu- in the manufacturing of automotive components. There's also opportunities in the uh, ICT, mm-hmm. where we are calling on investors to come to Lesotho to explore these opportunities, as well as the tourism, which is which is uh, growing as we are we, we are speaking, and uh, we want to promote this. We want people to visit Lesotho to come and experience uh, elevate. Excellent. So now, I'd like you just to short, briefly explain the bilateral uh, relationship with you and Qatar. You guys and Qatar, but we are quickly coming to you here. Is it very large? We have we have, we have have a very small community of Basutu here, um, but uh, I think there are opportunities for Basutu, as as, as we have been discussing you know, with uh, our, our counterparts here. There are opportunities for Basutu who would want to win to to, to come on no, uh, university. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So that means you but, but what we are mostly uh, pushing for is to have the community of Qatar come to Lesotho and invest. Mm, interesting. So guys out there, if you are still watching this video, I think you know what to do right now. So if you want to set up your company there, I think no bottlenecks actually. You know what you can they can reach out to you guys. Most definitely. We have a one stop shop that uh has uh, a suit of services that any investor needs to set up in the suit. Uh, we have tried you know, to uh, make things easy for one uh, to set up a business. A uh, company can be registered online, uh, licensing, permits that one needs. But we have the NDC, we have the NMDC, the Lesotho National uh, Development Corporation, which uh, facilitates uh, setting up a business in the suit. We also, there's also um, factory shelves, especially for those who want to go into uh, manufacturing, that are readily available for uh, one to go to. Excellent. Excellent. 
Excellent. So guys, you heard it all from her. I'll be dropping the details below the video. You could um, contact them. And if you want to visit and experience this beautiful country, I think it's, it sounds very interesting right now for me. So there's something I do at the end of my blog. I have them to speak their language and um, I'll have you speak in Sutu. Is it Sutu? I'm not, Sutu. Yes, Sutu. That, I know you guys are almost like South Africa. I don't know. That's what you already know that's inter in the intersection between you and South Africa. I mean, being inside South Africa, yes, of course, we'll interact. Same thing. Yes. Are you in South Africa or separate from South Africa? We are a country inside another country. Are you serious? An independent state with own uh, constitution, with own army, with own... Oh, wow. Yes, it's an independent state altogether. Uh, I would have loved to think deep again. How did they come to this point of dividing themselves from South Africa and make them suffering? Like, <laughs> Well, there's a lot of history that uh, lies behind that, but Lesotho has always existed as a, an independent state. And I'm last mentioning that this year is a very big year for us. We are celebrating 200 years in existence. Actually, this weekend is a very big weekend for you guys here yes. in Lesotho. Uh, uh, we have we have uh, begun the great Mushashwap Mushashwa being the founder of the nation uh, in 1824 uh, in this month, this date. He walked from Botabote, which is uh, uh, in uh, an area where he started his journey of building the Basoki Nation. Wow. He walked all the way to Tababasi, where he just one more portraits. Yes, followed the footprints and built this beautiful nation. I must mention Lesotho is the one place to visit. The people are very welcoming. It's a peaceful country. I mean, you see it in our flag. The three colors of our flag uh, present our penis, our motto, peace, reign, and prosperity. It's such an right here. Uh, yeah. Interesting. White, obviously, for peace. Blue for rain. Green for prosperity. And the black image that you see here is our Mokoroto hat, our signature traditional hat. As Masut, it's black representing the nation. So um, this hat, you, you have seen it on display uh, here in the pavilion. It is inspired by the mountain that you see uh, behind us. It's a landmark that you will find in the area where the Basotho Nation was founded. So, it's, it's, yeah, it's our landmark. It's our signature. Uh, I think you've done justice to this, actually. Wow. I can't, I'm almost like, no. <laughs> you have to. You have to come and experience elevation. No, honestly, we, we, we are really thankful for this opportunity. Same here. Too. We hope to receive uh, you in Lesotho. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming soon. Thank you very much, House. So I want to speak the language. It's the last thing. I'm really watching this. Yeah, yeah. So how do we go? I will tell you, say, come experience the beauty of Lesotho, not Qatar anymore, because we're going to Lesotho. Yeah. And um, speak it. A national language. Real Mema. Ote, Oto Boha Boche, Banaha, Yalasul. I'm trying to look up Real Mema Ote, Otle, Oto Boha. Oh, I got it. Both Boha, Boche, Banaha, Yalasul. The true old. Come, 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 come. You are invited. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Mom. I really appreciate it.